Hello friends, in this session, we are going to learn how to create Gradle project using command line. So here prerequisites are install Java and install Gradle. So let's check. I have already installed Java and Gradle. If you don't install in your system Java and Gradle, firstly install these. And after that, you have to create Gradle project. Okay, so let me open this command prompt from this team here. And let's check here Java version is installed or not using Java space hyphen version. Enter and here Java version is already installed here. This version is 15.0.1. And let's check Gradle is installed or not using Gradle space hyphen version. So let's wait some time and see here Gradle 7.6 this version I have already installed and let's create Gradle project using command line. So step one we have to create Mac directory where we have to create a project so i want to create in that path okay so desktop devops and gradle project so i have to already create a directory i have to insert in that directory okay so using cd desktop cd devops in and go inside the CD Gradle project. Okay. So here I have to install or initialize Gradle project. So second step is to initialize new Gradle project in empty folder using Gradle init command. So here we use Gradle init for that new uh, initialize new project for the gradle so enter after that enter this process is going on and select type of the project to generate i want to generate application for that and here application number is to send then press to and enter and I use the Java language for the implementation language. Here number is three and press three and enter. After that splits fun functionality across the multiple sub project. So no, because I want to only one application project. If you want to multiple application and library projects, then as Okay, so I will use no. If directly I enter this, then by default, no option is automatically select here. Only one application. So I want to. I will directly place enter and select build script DSL. So here Groovy we are using here. And by default, Groovy is select after the place directly enter. Then generate build using new APIs and behavior. So by default, no, I press the no. Okay, you can enter the directly enter or press the no after the enter. Okay, so select test framework. I want to use J unit framework. So I use here first number and by default J unit Jupiter, but I want to use J unit 4. Okay, so then press 1. Okay, then enter. And after that, we have to give a project name here. By default, Gradle project. Yeah, I want to give here Dev Ops and Gradle. Okay, Dev Ops and Gradle. Then after that, source package here Dev Ops in dot Gradle. Then this default by default I use here. Then or we use DevOps hint. Okay. 
space here and build successfully here. Build successfully here. <coughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> then here, see, here project is initialized here. Gradle project is initialized in that this path. Okay. So let's wait some. Here, I open this project or this folder in Visual Studio Code. Then go to File and open folder and Desktop, DevOps Hint, Gradle Project, and this folder we will select here. Okay. Then like that, this dot gradle in that file system probe in the app here, gradle dot build here, we are add the plugins, repository and dependencies where I add here and also add tasks here and here main and in the app SRC main and test, we can add here program and check here here this is a by default program is generated in the src main java okay so simply it's a hello world and in the src test java this is a, using this test we can generate output in our this applications Okay, so here Gradle wrapper here and here jar files and its properties are present here and get attribute and get ignore Gradle W and here it's a batch, batch file, window batch file and here these are the settings. We are here use root project dot name and include app. Okay, so see here. In the Cradle project, we are see step by step in these applications. Okay, so like that, it's a complete the Gradle project. Okay, so like these, these are the structure of the Gradle project. So today's session, we will learn how to create Gradle project using command line. Thank you for the watching video.